volcanoes are located at different places in the world. You can find them along tectonic plates or at hot spots, which are in the middle of a plate. At these places, molten rocks called magma come to the surface. Depending on the composition, the gas content and the temperature of the magma, volcanoes erupt differently. When the pressure into the volcano is too great and the stiffness of the magma is low, an effusive eruption occurs and a lava flow is produced. But what is a lava flow? A lava flow is molten rock that flows along the topography, from the top or the flank of the volcano. How fast the lava flows depends on the composition of the lava and the volcano slope. Lava flows can advance up to 100 meters per hour. The fastest flows even reach up to 30 kilometers an hour. Depending on the amount of magma, an effusive eruption can last from a few hours till a few months or even years and reaches a few to several tens of kilometers in distance. Lava flows are really destructive. The temperature of lava is between 800 and 1200 degrees Celsius. This means a lava flow covers everything on its path and burns everything. Even though not that many people die of effusive eruptions, unconscious people may die or get seriously injured. Additionally, lava flows release gas, and if lava comes into contact with water, there can be explosions. There are efficient monitoring systems, which can detect the earthquakes, which themselves announce magma rising to the surface. This way, if such a system is in place in a volcanic area, the lava flow can be predicted. Based on satellite and ground monitoring, it is becoming possible to forecast where a volcano will erupt. If the location of the eruption is known and is coupled with a digital elevation model, it's possible to anticipate with accuracy where the lava will flow. Before and during an eruption, an early warning system can inform the population in time to evacuate if danger is near. Afterwards, when the lava flow has stopped, it is recommended to wait for the authorities' all clear signal before going back. In some cases, an eruption can last several months. If this happens close to a village, the whole village has to evacuate. Although some attempts have been made to control the progress of a lava flow, there's not much we can do to stop it.